What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So, it's been a while since I've done an unboxing and review video of a remote control tank. And uh, you know what, I figured I'd go ahead and uh, buy another tank because it's been a while since I've gotten one. I've saved up a little bit of money and I decided to go with the Panzer III. And as you know by the title, um, you know, Panzer III is what we're going to be talking about today and review, reviewing. Uh, now this is made by Henglong, which is a company based in China, I believe so. Um, but don't get me wrong, it's not Chinese, you know, horrible quality, just junk. Um, these are really, really nice, uh, nicely detailed uh, functioning models. Um, and I, I decided to get the uh, professional edition or the pro version, which has metal tracks, uh, metal, uh, I forget what these are called, um, sprocket wheels, uh, one in the back, one in the front. Um, but the road wheels are uh, plastic, So, and also these um, drive wheels are plastic as well. Uh, the rest of the tank is also plastic, uh, but it does have metal gears inside the gearbox. And, um, you know, that's pretty much it, but it's a really solid uh, working model. Uh, in 1 16th scale. So uh, here's a look at the front of the box as you've been staring at it for a little while now <laughs> while I was talking. Uh, here's the side. Shows the transmitter that you get. The standard hang long 2.4 gigahertz uh, transmitter. Uh, this tank does have, um, it just shows the functions right there. Um, it does move forward, backwards, left traverse, right traverse, um, and then back and other um, back as well, I guess you could call it that way. Um, it has a moving uh, turret. The turret does move. The gun moves up and down. Uh, it has the road wheels have independent suspension and uh, overall a really, really nice tank. I like how they add a little historical uh, text here, uh, kind of like a summary of the tank. Let me zoom in for you. Um, kind of give some information here. Let me read this first paragraph real quick for you guys. Um, the Panzerkampfwagen III Ausfall is a Rank II Germany medium tank with a battle rating of 3.3. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's about, but uh, and don't don't forget this is probably translated, <laughs> so it's it may sound weird in places. Uh, the Panzerkampfwagen III medium tank, or the Panzer III, was developed in the 1930s. Starting in early 1934, Heinz Guderian set down some specifications for a new tank. Which Army Weapons Department took up to design the tank to weigh no more than uh, 24,000 kilograms with a top speed of 35 kilometers per hour? This tank's role was to be the main tank of the German Army and was expected to destroy opposing tanks as opposed uh, as a tank made to destroy anti-tank guns and op opposing infantrymen, with which the Panzer IV uh, took up in. Uh, okay, so as you can see, some weird translations there, but you get the main idea of the tank. So... Uh, without further ado, enough talk. Let's get this tank out of the uh, box and uh, see what we got here. Now, it does come with a bunch of uh, accessories that you can add to your tank to make it look more uh, detailed and more realistic. But those you do have to put on yourself. So that's, uh, I guess, some could say an unfortunate part. And some people like me, which love to... Uh, here, I forgot this part. Some people like me, which love to uh, kind of construct and build things, uh, I guess that's a plus, um, because, I mean, I guess you could say it's like a little uh, Lego set, but not really Lego, if you know what I mean. Um, okay, so, first we get the, uh, looks like the manual for the tank, uh, we're not really going to go through that, but um, really nice picture there of the tank, let's put that aside, and uh, just a nice little... Uh, letter full of information uh, by the seller. And I do buy from Toucan Hobby, which is right over there as you can see. A really, really good seller on eBay. That's where I got this tank from. Um, I guess you could say affordable prices for some. And uh, you can also bargain a little bit with the seller. Um, he or she may accept your offer if you give it to them. Um, and I've sent quite a bit of offers for different tanks and sometimes they get accepted. So that's a plus, I guess. Now, uh, let's see here. This is the best part right here. Um, all the foam pieces that go out everywhere. <laughs> so, uh, let me go ahead and kind of tilt this upwards like this. And... All 
Alrighty, so we get quite a few things that come with this tank. Uh, the first thing that I forgot to mention was this piece right here, which is a little IR or infrared or infrared um, system that you attach to the front of the tank. Um, this piece right here kind of um, goes inside of the, uh, I think, somewhere in there. Um, and you kind of set it up to where you can actually have a little laser tag uh, battle with other tanks that have this same system. Um, and then also has an airsoft feature where it shoots six millimeter uh, BBs, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so uh, put that aside here and let's get the accessory box. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get everything out from here, including the tank. We're going to place it on the table nicely and then we'll start from there because uh, the foam can be a little bit irritating when I'm trying to uh, remove the items. It can be really uh, squeaky. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we got uh, with the tank. We got a USB charger uh, that goes and connects to the 7.4 volt 1800 mAh uh, battery, which surprisingly, uh, this battery is quite small compared to the other uh, ones that I have for the other tanks. Um, I don't know what the reason for that is, but uh, I mean, I don't know if it's cheaper or something. I have no idea, but pretty neat little battery. And here we have the uh, six millimeter BBs to, that go for the uh, tank to shoot. So uh, pretty neat. I don't really like these though. The quality of them are okay, uh, but I prefer to use uh, some other ones that I bought a while back. So I've got thousands of them <laughs> laying around everywhere. Uh, and then the accessory box, which is what you can um, attach and just kind of decorate your tank with to make it look more detailed and better looking, I guess. Uh, really cool there. And then there is the transmitter. So uh, 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. You have the uh, volume button, uh, the smoke feature. Oh, I forgot to mention, yes, it does have a smoke pump in the back, uh, which kind of you put in the oil and it gives uh, uh, kind of like a smoke feature, I guess you could say. Um, and then here, you can switch uh, from different sounds. So you got two different uh, sound uh, features there. And uh, yeah, so, uh, and then you have, you press this button down and lift this up to shoot the uh, gun. And then this is the machine gun right here in sound. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna need um, some batteries here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go get some AA batteries. Just about ready to go ahead and get the tank started up for you guys. But before I did that, real quick, I wanted to show you uh, what comes inside the accessory box. Or as it says, battle tank accessory parts. Um, pretty interesting there. Uh, so this, being that this is actually an updated uh, version, uh, there's some more newer parts. And uh, here, let me show you. So first you get the oil bottle. Uh, that you use to go ahead and put some oil in the um, uh, smoke pump for it to start working. But the cool thing about this is that this is actually a glass container. Um, that is really neat because if I go over here um, in my other tanks, uh, here this is from my uh, older KV-1 uh, version. Uh, check out the oil bottle um, in that one. Look at that. Look at that difference. <laughs> Uh, their quality has definitely gone up. I gotta tell you, uh, this is just like a plastic bottle with oil, and and um, you know, not, I mean, it's okay. But the fact that they came in uh, with a glass bottle, uh, with where you can actually squeeze this to get some drops um, in the um, chamber there, uh, while here you just gotta squeeze the bottle for some drops to come out, and sometimes that can be a little bit harder uh, to do. I think that's just uh, really, really neat. Good job, Hang Long. <laughs> um, and you also get a really neat little screwdriver uh, that comes with every tank. I have a lot of these screwdrivers. <laughs> They're everywhere, honestly. Uh, and then here are some other parts. You got the decals that you can apply. Um, here are the joysticks for the uh, transmitter. There's the uh, little commander spare uh, track and um, some other pretty neat pieces uh, and then here what is this oh a toucan hobby um, some sort of a card yeah warranty card oh that's cool a toucan hobby three month warranty card um, so I guess they can replace the tank if anything happens or um, something like that uh, and then we get a little uh, wrench here so that goes with the tank 
to kind of unscrew the uh, bogies off or uh, just get some things unscrewed. So uh, really neat pieces that come with it all. Alrighty, so I put the batteries inside of the transmitter. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And uh, went ahead and put the uh, battery in the tank and it's fully charged. So let's go ahead and start it up by pressing this button right here. Let's see. So you can actually, one other cool feature with this remote is you can actually uh, decide whether you want the sound of the engine running very loudly, um, kind of mild loud, or uh, very quiet or not at all um, by pressing this button right here, the volume button. So uh, watch this. So that's pretty neat. Uh, and then there's that smoke feature, and this is where you can actually change sound. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you want to sound like an Abrams, I guess you could uh, do that. Or not an Abrams, so this is the Abrams. <laughs> historically correct but I think uh, this one's a little bit more historically correct or something like that I don't know yeah this one might be good enough okay so let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and turn the uh, turret so I can't go uh, fully all the way around Okay, barrel up, barrel down, let's see what the machine gun sounds like, got the little uh, light flashing there, okay, let's go ahead and see how it sounds when it fires, hold this button and lift this up, oh, wait a minute, there might be different, sorry, there it is, oh, yeah, look at that, never mind, I was wrong. You hold these two buttons down at the same time, so. Pretty neat, guys. Uh, and then, as you saw uh, not too long ago, this is how you turn all the way around. Moving this joystick forwards, this is forwards, left, full 360. fully uh, proportional which is really nice so you can go slow or fast when you turn it off so uh, overall really really nice tank um, I really am loving it I'm gonna have fun putting some of the details on the tank myself um, everything seems to be working fine and that's one thing that I will recommend uh, before you start putting on all your details and everything make sure your tank works uh, really well and there's nothing wrong with it and then you can start putting on those details because you know say something's broken or the gun doesn't work or something and you'd like to return it, but you already put on all the details. You know, there, there's an issue right there. You can't really do that. Uh, but if it works, you know, then you should be good to go. Um, it does have some weight to it. It is actually decently heavy. Um, being that it is a light tank and a little bit smaller than some of the other tanks that I own, um, it is, I guess, say, heavy enough. I'll put it that way. I've got a King Tiger over there, a KV-1. A uh, Sherman and a T72. T72 is one of the heaviest ones that I own. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to have to do it for this video. Um, I'm not really going to be doing like a full-on uh, drive test review. 
Uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing it in another video, uh, possibly showing you guys how this thing uh, drives off-road or on-road. And uh, do stay tuned for that video when that comes around. But uh, for this video, I'm not going to be doing that. Um, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed uh, me showing you guys how everything works and how it came out of the box. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend this company. Um, they have a lot other cheaper tanks, the plastic version tanks that are still the same quality. Uh, I just decided to go with the metal version because it lasts longer. Uh, especially uh, talking to the or speaking about the gears that are in the uh, gearbox, which is up here, uh, since the uh, main gear, uh, sprocket is over here. Um, those definitely will last longer because of the metal or the steel gears that, that are in the gearbox. Um, the other plastic ones that I've had, I've actually had to change out the gears because they would strip uh, constantly because I left the plastic ones in there. But uh, yeah, so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.